hello guys welcome to programium guys i am super excited about this video because we are going to create hospital management system in java and as you know that we have decided in our previous video that we will implement arrays loops conditional statements and conditional operators in this video so it would be a very beneficial video for you so guys hit the like button below to encourage ourselves to make more videos like this and if you have not subscribed our channel then hit the subscribe button to get notified about our new videos so without any further delay let's get started and open intellij ide So guys now you can see that I have opened IntelliJ IDE and I had already created hospital management system java file. Let us create here public class and also a public main method and set our package here. Fine. So guys I would be giving you a tip for every project and that tip is divide your projects into smaller parts and make a strategy of how to achieve your goals like for example we are going to create a hospital management system so what is the first thing that every management system see and that's the first main part is menu of the program uh, so first we will make this menu of this program so what does this menu will contain this menu will contain four options one is enter new to insert new record the other one is enter modify to modify previous record other one is enter delete to delete record of a patient and one is the exit to exit program so we will first create this menu here and for that let us create a string variable here by the name of choice and a scanner object and a scanner object input is equals to new scanner system dot in okay let us sort here these lines like that and uh, i would be using here backslash t fine guys so guys this is the menu here that we would show to our user that is managing uh, this hospital management system now we have to store this uh, choice is equals to input dot text line fine guys so we will apply here switch condition on this choice and we will make five cases here one for this exiting one delete modify and then new record so case is new other cases modify other cases delete other cases exit and the remaining one is default and we know in default one we say exit uh, sorry unrecognized operation and then break here fine guys so we had created our menu here and thus we had uh, completed our first strategy so what is the second strategy here creating variables to store user inputs fine guys and for this we will be using string name array to store names of patients the other one would be int age array to store ages other one would be a floating point uh, duration type uh, to store duration uh, array to store uh, duration of treatment fine guys and there is the fourth one of the same string type and uh, that would be disease to store 
disease of a pacific patient so guys now we had also seen an other strategy and that strategy is creating variables to store inputs so let us create variables here and i am uh, writing a comment here variables uh, fine okay we got this string name here first and then we got this disease here because they are the same uh, data type then this integer age like that and then this float duration so uh, what we have to do we have to initialize them here new string of how many uh, you can say variables here we will make five slots in the memory fine guys so i'm copying this here and pasting them here again like that and we will change it here integer and also here and we will use here float so guys if you can't understand anything from uh, this whole program then you are free to us in comments below and also this source code would be available to you in the description below fine so what we have done right now we had created a menu and the second process we done we created uh, variables here and uh, why i have initialized all the arrays to five because if the name of the patient said five then uh, obviously five uh, blocks would be needed to store uh, their ages and duration of time period uh, and duration of treatment and their disease is fine so our third strategy is simple and that is store uh, complete one code block at a time and what does that mean that means in this new case here what we have to do we have to take inputs from the user and store them as a new record in these arrays so how to do that let us see that so we use here sout enter new records of the patients fine guys and here what we can do we can simply use here we will say here enter name of the patient name of the patient and we will use here name zero is equals to input dot input or next and uh, the other one was uh, we can use here i am copying these all and pasting it here again again so first one is the name of the patient second is the age of sorry disease of the patient third one is the age of the patient and fourth one is the duration of the patient so here we will say disease and here we will say uh, age and here we would say duration and also we have to use here int because uh, we use next int and next sorry next uh, float to store uh, in floating point in integers fine after that we will sort the user records inserted successfully fine guys after that we are not going to uh, break here what's our next step our next step we have completed one code block at this time so other code block uh, is uh, let me see we have to modify this data fine guys so what we have to do first we will sort uh, user 
let me tell you what i am going to first we will sort all the entries to the uh, user and after that we will start modifying those so i am using here for loop and i am creating a variable here of type integer iterator yes here iterator starts from zero iterator and also iterator would go up to uh what is this here name dot length and also iterator uh sorry iterator plus plus fine guys uh guys we had uh, used here iterator but we have to use iterator so what we are going to do we will uh use at all places iterator so what next we will uh, use here uh, south printing previous data and after that we will use here south name of patient is name uh, iterator and i am duplicating uh, copied this pasting them four times uh, fifth time and uh, i am writing here entry number of patient is and we can say that uh iterator plus 10 uh just to uh give our patient an entry number and if we want to modify or delete uh records of the patient then we will use this entry number fine name of patient is this and disease of patient i am using here patient disease and then age of the patient age of the patient is this and then duration of patient's treatment is and after that uh, we will again use a string and we will say months fine guys so now we had uh, also showed the data to the person here so guys i had added these uh, lines here just to di distinguish this output uh, and after that what we are going to do we will just use a simple println uh, just to put an uh, extra uh, blank line fine guys after that we will sort the user to modify patient data enter patient's entry number fine guys and uh, we are going to create an other integer variable here by the name of entry number okay here we have to use entry number is equals to input dot next int fine guys so what we have to do here uh, and why are we using entry number uh, i have talked uh, explained this previously just to uh, access the uh, patient's index we will use entry number uh, and uh, for entry number we can say that if uh, so what was the entry number here guys uh, entry number here uh, we suppose that uh, iterator is 1 here so entry number would become 11 because we added 10 here and to receive our index we will just subtract 10 from this entry number uh, and it will give us a uh, index of the patients uh, in the array location fine guys so guys uh, that's just to access our patients we used here entry number and uh, uh, now what we are going to do we will just uh, use here south we will say here enter new name of patient and what we are going to do we will say name at that uh, entry number is equals to input dot next okay i am copying them 
and uh, pasting them here four times enter new disease of patient and we will say here disease here would be age of patient enter age of patient and enter uh, duration of treatment of patient fine guys so we will use here uh, duration and here we will use age fine guys so as we seen we have to use next in to store integer and next float to store floating point values so i am repeating again this code of block here we first uh, uh, take the entry number and as we had increased incremented uh, iterator value uh, with 10 so that means if we subtract minus 10 from this entry number we can get the index of that patient fine so we got here entry number and we just access that entry number and uh, we uh, will store new name here new disease here new age and new duration here fine guys so but now uh, the patient's data is being modified our next goal is to delete data so we will shout here uh, do you really want to delete patient data and uh, we will simply use here yes or no and uh, we will use here again choice is equals to input dot next and we will use here if uh, choice dot equals ignore case by then we will say here uh, first let us put an else here uh, and we will say uh, south exiting program because uh, there is nothing left for us to show to our uh, user so we said exiting program okay uh, now we will also use this uh, for here for like this here case exit so we have to uh, code this block here and this is the our last one here and to delete data what we are going to do we will uh, I am going to copy paste these four lines that we use for modify and we can use that uh we will say that to delete patient's data enter patient's entry number fine we got that entry number and uh, we are not going to shout anything to the user we, let me tell you what we are going to do here we will just uh you can say here use zero zero and for string we will use null here fine guys so if we see a uh, null or zero that means that data is not present there so i think uh, each and everything is written here so guys uh, we are going to run this program and uh, possibility is that we have to debug this but let us see by running this file so guys now you can see that enter new to insert new record but I am going to change this menu little bit where is that menu here is it so I am deleting this white spaces and let us run it again stop and rerun okay uh, it is looking like this okay I am again running it so that's looking something uh, good here enter new to insert new new and we got unrecognized operation because uh, we can see that here we will use here choice dot to lower case because whatever the user entered uh, would be converted to lower case fine guys so i'm running it again and our first case is new and we will enter here george is disease is malaria and uh, age of the patient is 35 years and duration of the patient is 
treatment uh, 0.5 and uh, you can see that here we got uh, printing previous data and we got here uh, entry number of patient is 10 his name is George Milleria and uh, George uh, we can see the duration of patient's treatment is George's month and we have um, right I think uh, yes you can see that we had to use here duration fine guys so this is the debugging process and we will uh, possibility is that we counter a lot of errors and you can see that all others are here null and zero and uh, you can see that to modify patients data enter patients entry number i want to modify this one here uh, where entry number is 14 let me enter here 14 so enter new name of patient and uh, i am writing here uh, christina and its diseases hepatitis and age of the patient is 25 and its duration of treatment is uh, 1.5 years so do you want to delete patients data uh, i would say yes i would like to do that again i have to use her patient entry number and let me write here 10 for the george and i'm entering here 10 uh, and you can see that exiting program why what happened let us see in this delete section oh yes because all these operations had been done and uh, we don't uh, get anything we will use here break to uh, and also to exit program here fine guys so guys you can see that our program is running absolutely fine but one more thing that i would like to uh, add here is that i will copy this for loop here that contains the code to show the previous uh, data so before deletion i am again going to uh, show the data to user and after deletion i am again going to show the data to user so that the user can see that if the it, uh, if its operations are working or not fine i am again running it i am going to new name of the patient is again george its disease is malaria its age is 35 and duration is 0 0.5 months and uh, we will see its uh yes you can see here george malaria 35 0.5 month and what we are going to modify we are going to modify data for 14th entry patient of the name is christina and its disease is hepatitis and its age is 25 and duration is 1.5 uh, months and you can see that we got here at 14 one uh christina hepatitis, hepatitis 25 1.5 and did you really want to delete the records i am saying here yes i would like to delete that so patients uh entry number i would enter here 10 for the george but we will see it again if that's the entry number here and yes you can see that it is here but one more one more thing i would like to show you is that if we enter wrong number then what would happen let us see here oh wow we got an exception here index minus one out of bounds for length five you know why because there is uh if we enter if there are five blocks in the memory for arrays then compiler would give them numbers from 0 to 4 and if we enter the index 5 6 7 we got an exception index out of bounds but if we also entered numbers smaller than 0 then we also got uh, an exception here fine guys so guys this is the uh, hospital management system that we had created in this video 
and believe me this practical video would help you a lot fine guys so guys this source code would be available to you uh, you can download it by the link in the description below so guys enough for this video we will be meeting in our next video in which we will be covering some amazing new concepts so guys to get notified about those videos subscribe our channel and uh, also share with your friends goodbye